right, so I'm going to take you through a repository uh, that we've got on GitHub, uh, relatively new, and it's been there for a while. But we kind of wanted to, to raise awareness of it a little bit. Um, and these are samples for Viva Connections. I've got some slides just to give a little bit of context. I won't spend too much time on, on slides, and then we'll dive into the, into the GitHub repo. Uh, just a little bit about me, for those that don't know me. Uh, so my name's Alex Clark. Uh, there's my Twitter handle. Uh, if you do follow me, you'll see lots of stuff that either is related to two or four wheels or photography, uh, occasionally a little bit of running. Um, so I'm a cloud solution architect at Microsoft. been working with SharePoint for a very, very long time now. Um, so that is me. And here's what we're going to cover. So I'll do a really quick overview of Viva Connections. Just conscious there's a lot of you on the call. I'm not sure, um, you know, everyone's sort of level of, of experience. So I'll give a really quick overview of what Viva Connections is. Um, obviously, if you're a lot of you, you might already know. Um, I'll talk a little bit around the dashboard and then we'll dive into what these kind of samples are, what they do. And then I'll do a quick demo of the samples in action. So Viva Connections, for those of you that don't know what it is, I'm assuming by being on this call, you've probably got a good idea. But in essence, Viva Connections is part of our Viva suite. Um, it's powered by modern SharePoint. So typically a SharePoint uh, home site, which is normally going to be your intranet, embedded in Teams. So we've got a, a dedicated Teams app, uh, which is now there in the Teams admin center that you can go and allow, brand, put your own company logo, etc build your intranet site and then deliver that into Teams. So we've got the pinned app in Teams, so employees can access it and get access to the intranet straight through Teams. So a little bit of an overview of Viva Connections in general. And then I forgot this next slide was animated. I'm not really sure what it does. So it's disappeared off the top of the screen. Um, so with that comes uh, the mobile app in Teams. So the Teams mobile app includes Viva Connections, as you can see in there. Um, we've got different things. We've got the dashboard, which is what I'm going to talk around. We've got the feed where we're bringing in news uh, from SharePoint and also content from Yammer as well. And the resources tab where we've got our nav where we can navigate uh, around uh, our SharePoint intranet. OK, and the dashboard samples I'm talking about will render in uh, mobile. There we go. Perfect. OK, cool. All right. So the dashboard. So part of Viva Connections is the dashboard, probably one of the, the main parts that's uh, different from sort of um, standard SharePoint uh, web parts. So this can be kind of considered the, the company home for the employee. So if, if an employee opens the, the Teams uh, mobile app and opens Viva Connections, they'll see the dashboard with all types of cards on it that you can uh, design. Um, and these are great for things like first line workers who need access to, to different systems. If you want quick access, then maybe, you know, book holiday, um, if you're a payslip, things like that, the dashboard is a great place for it. OK, um, and with the dashboard, you can kind of build this out the box cards that you can use, uh, but also you can build your own cards. And that's kind of what we're going to talk around here. OK, and you can target these cards um, at different employees so you can target them at different AD groups if you want to. So you can have customized dashboards for, for each um, set of users. So get digging into the dashboard a little bit more. So what we can see in here is at the top, you've obviously got the company name, your navigation bar, and then the, the way that these kind of dashboard works is it's split into ultimately adaptive cards, right? So each each dashboard card ultimately is, is an adaptive card, okay? And there's different sizes, as you can see. You've got a medium card, you've got large cards, um, and then obviously the, the normal Teams interface at the bottom, okay? Um, and what we're going to talk around is the more custom element um, of the card design as opposed to some of the out of the box cards. So onto the samples and shortly we will go into a demo. So what we've essentially got uh, on GitHub is some pre-built samples of cards. Now, this is not to be confused with another repo. There is another repo with SPFX uh, samples that have been built where you can actually download deploy those cards obviously into your tenant and we've got actual functionality in there which is you know connecting to various endpoints and dynamically pulling from SharePoint etc what we've done with this particular repository is these are almost static samples okay so we've crafted um some JSON which we call the card JSON so the actual design for the card with a separate most these samples have it a separate data JSON file where we're storing the data so this ultimately is static data and static cards but they're very visual okay um, and they are designed to give you inspiration and ideas for building cards further okay um, these type of cards you're not typically going to use in production 
because updating the content of these cards would be very manual. Typically, you'll be building SPFX adaptive card extensions to actually build full cards with full functionality where we're maybe connecting to line of business systems, calling rest endpoints, those kind of things. OK, I'm not going to demo the SPFX stuff. It's been a long, long time since I wrote SPFX code, so I don't think I'd quite do it justice. Um, but I'm going to talk through these samples and how they work. OK, so to get the full value, uh, build an SPFX card. Um, but these samples are great for ideation. Um, and what we have actually found, um, we run a uh, Microsoft workshop, which I'll talk around uh, right near the end. And we have actually found that a couple of these samples we've got customers using in production uh, with the static data. And they're actually just going into the dashboard and updating the, the JSON, believe it or not. And we've got a comms team that were like, you know, happy to do that. And that, that particular customer lacks any dev. So they were kind of happy doing it that way. So you might find, you know, in some instances they're actually usable, but typically you're going to build a full sample. So it's just a screenshot on here before I go into the demo of just some of the samples that we have. So typically this uh, this screenshot is updated whenever we get new samples added to the repository. Um, and obviously we'd be very keen for, for people to add any samples that they've got into there. But it, there's various different things from uh, requesting holiday, um, looking at like a canteen menu, onboarding, company events. So this screenshot just gives you an idea of what is kind of in there at the moment. OK, and then we will go into an actual demo of these. So give me a minute while I tab out there. Hopefully that's changed to uh, Contoso's fictional intranet now, fingers crossed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to the uh, GitHub repository really quickly. I'll just go to the home of it actually. So this is this is the GitHub repository adaptive cards dash templates. Um, and when you go here, you will see in the readme uh, the screenshot of all of the samples. OK, there are some additional resources that you can go ahead and read in there as well. And then what you can do is you can dive into the samples. So they're all contained within this, this, this samples folder. OK, and these are all of the ones that are available okay, to you to use. And like I say, be great to get more uh, contributions to these. Um, they do adhere to a sort of standard uh, as well. Um, I'm going to drop into this live events one, which is one I've built. And what we'll do is we'll actually put it over into the dashboard really quickly so I can show you how to do that. Uh, but each sample, We'll have a summary, an image telling you what that sample does, kind of what it's what it's compatible with. You can even open it straight in the adaptive card designer just by clicking it. So that will load up the adaptive card designer with it all pre-populated and ready to go. So you can test it or customize it further if, if you want to. Um, and again, you know, we've got the, the process of how you actually set this up. So if you if you want to add samples, um, yeah, if you adhere to um, kind of the way we've structured it, um, that's a good place to start. So what we'll do is I'm just going to nip over to the Viva Connections dashboard. So here is my dashboard and obviously I've accessed this through the cog and I've gone into manage Viva Connections, gone into view dashboard and here I am in the dashboard page. Now you can see my dashboard is huge mainly because this is where I'm testing all kinds of different things. Um, but what we'll do is we'll edit this page really quickly. And um, what I'm going to do when this loads, come on, come on. Oh, brilliant, that's always good. Well, let me edit the page anyway, so who knows? So we're going to add a card in here and we're going to add a card designer card. So when we're building these custom cards, the ones that we uh, drive from these samples, we're going to use the card designer. So if I click edit card, let's just put something in here. Uh, let's call it uh, upcoming live events. Alex, could we just yep. increase the size of the, uh, oh, the screen? Oh, sure. It's just a little... Bit. A little hard to read the text. That's cool. Is that Thank better? You. No problem. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, let me just drop some kind of icon in here. There we go. So what I'm going to do in this card designer card here, um, I'll give it a title. We'll make it a medium card. Doesn't really matter so much for, for what we're doing. I'll put an icon in here. I'll give it a heading. Uh, live events. I don't know. Something like see our upcoming Yammer live events. And this was actually um, kind of inspired by a real life customer, uh, kind of one that we did when we helped them ideate. Um, so in the actions, I'm going to do show the quick view. OK, and that's what's going to pop up this adaptive card. I'm going to leave the button on actually as well, um, even though we could obviously click the card itself to show the quick view. I'll leave the button on there. I always think that looks pretty nice and we'll do show the quick view as well. And then down here in our template JSON, all you really need to do um, if you come over to the uh, the repo, 
If you take the, the main JSON file, which is the template, so the schema for the card, we can just take all of this JSON. We'll go and put that in the template JSON. And then in the data JSON, I'm going to go and take the uh, data JSON file, which is here. And this is all of our data, right? So this is our, our actual data that's going to go in the card. Happens to be, as you can see, this is just in, a, in an array um, within, uh, within a JSON object. So I'm just going to grab that and we're going to put that in the data JSON. Hopefully that's going to work. And then I am going to uh, save that. Hopefully it's saving anyway. It looks like it is. There we go. That's been saved. So I'm going to I'll just hit save the draft actually. Then we'll reload it. And hopefully I can show you that working. There we go. So I hit that view events and there they are. OK, so that's now using that data. Now, because this because we've kind of separated the template from the data, you can actually update the data in this card without having to update the schema. OK, so and I'll do this really quickly in the card designer rather than do it in the dashboard. What you can actually see is that we've got our payload editor on the left. You will actually see references if I scroll down here um, to the objects within the uh, within the sample data. Right. So here we're pulling root dot events are actually pulling from the events array and then we're selecting, you know, the event title, the day, the description, <laughs> etc. So all I really need to update here is, you know, I can just come and update some of this sample data and that's going to then reflect in the card itself if I pop it in preview mode. OK, um, so that kind of abstraction is really helpful because you don't need to change the schema all the time. And we'd say that if you were building, you know, ideating these cards for, for your customers or for yourselves and separating those out is, is really going to help. OK, um, so that's where the samples are. That's what they what they kind of do. And then really quickly, I just want to finish with a real quick couple of slides and then everyone should finish on time. So what I would say with the samples is use them for, for demos, inspiration if you're running workshops. Um, we've got some links and, and obviously they'll be posted around how to use the uh, the card JSON and the data JSON. Obviously, we want you to build SPFX samples for the full value. Um, but, you know, if a comms team is comfortable, they could even just edit that data JSON. And like I say, we've even got customers doing just that. So if there's a lack of developers, then that can also work. Uh, and we've linked to the, uh, the repository there. Um, I just wanted to mention this on the end. Uh, Microsoft do have a workshop for this. Uh, it's a two day workshop. So if there are any anyone on the call who's who's um, works with a Microsoft account manager um, and might be eligible for that, then, then contact your account manager and that could be something that you could take advantage of. Um, it's kind of like a hackathon style workshop. Idea again is just to ideate uh, Viva Connections cards and, and get started quicker. Um, other thing just to mention is that design uh, that we've obviously crafted in the sample can be used when you're building your F SPFX cards. So you can actually reuse that design and just write your code. So you're speeding it up anyway before you're even developing it. Um, and then obviously contributions. If you've got any samples, stuff you've already done, please, please contribute them in there. That'd be brilliant. Um, and just, yeah, you'll see the format of the existing samples. So you can just uh, follow those and that would be great. And from me, that is actually, yeah, that's it. Fantastic. Great work there, Alex. Uh, I'm sure those samples will be uh, definitely being looked at uh, shortly. Um, tons of uh, tons of resources in there. I can see a lot of uh, activity in the chat about wow, there's so much to learn. Well, it's all out there, folks. You can uh, you can basically find it when you need it. Uh, it it's already in and there for you to use. Uh, fantastic. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.